Did Joe get to tell you that he had the same surgery yet? Who? Joe. Joe. Oh, yeah. So I don't know if you know, I had two detached retinas in a three-month period last year at the start of the season. Oh, don't so tell I actually me missed that. a bunch of time. Yeah. yeah. Um, my friend Tom is actually writing the story. Today. It should be you. They say that I have to, this responsibility to ask the first detached retina question. So, so I, I'll say this. A year later, unfortunately, I'm still having some... some uh, some side effects, you know, in terms of flur, uh, bl um, floaters, flashes, sensitivity to light, headaches. Since this is not that long ago for you, are you still having to navigate through some of those things? No, they said if I had any of those, I needed to get back in. So you might want to get back in. <laughs> no, um, you know, I've been I've been very fortunate. It was just a weird uh, weird event that happened. You know, there was nothing, no trauma or anything. It just happened and. Um, I've, I've been fortunate, you know, I've, I, you know, I, I think the surgery went as, as well as it could. And, uh, so far, so far, so good with the, I mean, I guess you can't even call it rehab, but you know, with the, with the, um, the recovery, it's been good. The first one I had was the more serious version, which is called macula off. Yeah. And that's where you're basically blind for like months. So okay. I'm assuming you had the more traditional detached retina. Yeah. yeah. Um, I did. The, the macula did detach too, but um, but it was I don't know if it's the exact same thing, um, but I had like half of it, the top half was all gone, and uh, but it's it's been good lately, yes. Was yeah. last week were you back to normal last week or, or close to it? Um, I would say I would say after on. Houston, I've been about as back to normal, I guess, as you could be. Um, they told me that three the three month mark to not redetach is kind of the the next benchmark. After so it was three weeks and then three months. So when I hit three months, I guess maybe it's more totally healed, you know. And uh, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, it was good to fly, much better than driving to Houston. That was a uh, that was a long way. But once the uh, the gas bubble is out of there, then you're then you can go back to flying. Face down for 22 hours. Yeah, they said 90 percent of the day. I would say I probably did 98% of the day. Since I didn't have anything to do, I was just not messing with it. And so I wanted to make sure that um, I was as good a patient as I could be since I was, since I was missing time. It takes some incredible will. It did. Um, actually, my neck and back hurt worse than my eye did, to be honest with you. You know, just you're not used to being down that long. And, uh, but, yeah, we're, uh, we're all good now. What were you, were you like? So was your bedroom, your office, laying on a bed with, with it your stuff It was either the bed the or the massage table that they, that they got me in. But I would spend about an hour on one and go to the other one and back to the other one. And then I would actually sit down on the couch and put my head on the, on the massage table just to change it up. Because it's, it's, it's not very comfortable. It sounds like, oh, you get to lay down all day. But you can't move because you have to have your, your face down. So that was the, that was the not, not fun part. Coach, I have kind of a philosophical question for you regarding uh, quarterback play. How do you weigh the importance of winning in structure versus creating outside of it? What do you think is more important? All of it. I think good quarterback play is, is important. And, um, you know, there's, there's always structure within the play, obviously. And uh, we're a very timing-based offense. I think you can see that. And, you know, Tua is fantastic at that. But um, you, can't, you can't minimize the second chance opportunities, you know, whether it's you know, I go back to, to Russell Wilson with him and, you know, how good he is at that. Uh, but, but those are things that uh, you train as well because those are, those are going to happen, you know, whether you get um, – whether the defense does a great job of disguising and, and changing the, you know, the pre-snap look post-snap, and then you have to, you know, you have to move your eyes to accordingly or you get pressure and then get moved off the spot. And so you have to, you have to work it from the quarterback position, but then also the other players to be able to react to it um, in this, in the same timing as the quarterback does, and and keep their eyes up. And it depends on you know the style of the quarterback. You know some guys are pass only guys, so their eyes are going to be up. But the guys that have the ability to run um, as well, you kind of have to teach them. Hey, you know we still want to be looking down the field and then be able to use your legs. So there's really a lot that that can go into that. How have you seen Tua grow in the two years from day one to now in the creativity off structure stuff? Yeah, I mean, I think Tua's, Tua's always been good at that. One, because just his, his field of vision is incredible. It's probably as good as anybody that I've, that I've been around. And he, he sees things. He sees the defense. He sees how, how guys are moving. But he sees the whole thing. And so when, when he does get moved off the spot, um, he, he, he keeps his eyes down the field and sees a lot. 
so many people this that this was to his best game. Do coaches what, what do coaches what do you say about that? And then if so, what what kind of separates this from other really good performance. Yeah, I don't know if it's his best game. You know, um, I think he played. They think he played outstanding. He's, but he's played. You know, from last year um, as well. He played a lot of really good games. I think he's playing at a very high level. Um, he's playing within within the system. He's playing um, as we just talked about some of the second chance opportunities. But he's he's um, he's just really kind of taken to all the training, all the timing, all the things that we're asking him to do. And he's grown in so many ways, other than just his play on the field. Um, but for you know, for whatever reason, sometimes that might not have been the part that's being seen. And um, they had an opportunity to see it last year when he played, obviously in the first game. But um, it's it's something that you know, it's a what have you done for me lately business. So all you know, this next game is is the most important game. It doesn't matter what happened last year. It doesn't matter what happened last week. We have to move on, and we got to go prove that we can do it again. So it's a seven-yard scramble. He slid safely. Are there rules to, to when he can run, and, and what is your feeling when you see to a break the line of scrimmage? Make smart decisions. You know, I mean, there's it, it, it's never a um, you know there, there's never a hard and fast rule that you can put on it. You know, it's it's tell me what you know, tell me what the situation in the game. You know, tell me what down it is. Tell me how much time's left. You know, there's there's times that to, to be smart. Um, go get what you can and get down. But then there's times where, hey, I, I've got to go get this, and you know there may be a collision involved. So um, you just want them to be able to make smart decisions. You had an opportunity to um, see the Patriots defense on tape. What are some of the problems that they present to you guys? Well, I think, uh, Rodney, you know that like how well they're coached over there, you know, and th those guys are just they're they're coached so well. Um, they play their techniques very well. They're um, they're multiple in the defense with. Um, with with players in terms of you know one time this guy could be a safety one time this guy's a linebacker and so being able to ID all of it being able to um, you know to to kind of undress it as, as best as you can to make to make good decisions I think is what make it challenging um, they do a great job of playing their techniques and um, it's they're, they're just a very well coached team obviously when you put the players abilities on top of being well coached um, it makes for a tough defense. What's unique, what's unique about your relationship to obviously every interpersonal relationship, working or otherwise, is unique? What's unique about yours? Um, I don't know if there's anything unique. I think that the, just where I wanted to start with them was um, that I had to build a relationship of trust. And um, that, was, that was the most important thing to me. And so that's kind of what it's built on, and that's where, that's where we started with it. And I think that was, is what kind of helped it to grow to where it is now. A little bit ago about Tua's growth. Uh, one way we've seen him grow is his snapping back, maybe to some of his doubters. Uh, <laughs> most recently about the deep ball question. Yeah. I'm curious if you, as a coaching staff, you personally or you as a coach, ever talk about maybe how Tua snaps back sometimes? Uh, well, I think we, you know, we over over the time that we've been here, we've got we've been able to see him grow um, in in really all kind of ways, you know. And I don't know if snapping backs the is one, but I think it's that um, that's part of his personality, you know, and now you're um, he's, he's more comfortable with who he is. And, you know, now you're you're able to see a little bit more of his personality. And um, it's, it's fun to see, you know, you um, you want guys to, uh, to, to to really be able to be in themselves because that's where they're the most um, they're 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 their true self. And I think we're able to be we're able to see that with Tua right now. Well, which one of his throws did you like best? Sunday? Which what? Which one of his throws did you like best on Sunday? Uh, I like the I like the third down where he where he moved up in the pocket and was able to hit Tyreek down the field. You know he throws so well on time and to to see a play like that and put the ball where he put it I, that was a special play.